What's up guys, it's Sam Colby. Today we're gonna to be ranking the top 10 hottest cities in the United States. Plus, if this video gets 75,000 likes, the ones that end up in the top tier, the S tier, we're gonna to go to. Number one, Savannah, Georgia. All right, so this is Georgia's first city. It was the site of Civil War battles, the yellow fever epidemics, fires, and more. Apparently, they're pretty proud of the haunted stuff because there's 40 plus ghost tours. The Lamb saw the Battle of Savannah and the demise of many soldiers. Oh, this has all the Civil War battles. Yes. The sorrowful ghosts of the war roam the square at night in the form of shadowy figures. Okay. Oh, my name is Susie Ritter. There's the first shadow figure. <laughs> the Hamilton children like to get involved and roll the pool balls down the stairs. So oh, oh, God. God. Balls down staircases. Why is there always balls down my stairs? Eight ball rolled all the way down to the ground. So he shot in Savannah, Georgia, which I, I've never been. Have you been? Yeah, yeah. So I was like, I didn't know anything about it, so I was like looking stuff up. And their big claim to fame is that everything is haunted. If you say it on a late night talk show, it's true. So they were just saying pretty much that no matter where you went, including walking on public streets, or sidewalks, it's gonna be haunted. I don't want my Outback Steakhouse to be haunted. That's I don't either. Saying. But have we ever been to a spot that's that haunted? Like the radius of it. Weird part is they were talking about their entire city. city. They didn't even give really specific spots. Just like, oh, this area, this area, the entire city, any, like even restaurants where you go. <laughs> that's weird. What? If we went to that place, we'd have to like walk around the entire city. Ghost, ghost. Literally, we'd just be yeah. walking out, like doing EMF so and just go off the entire time, <laughs> no matter where we're at. If this is just overall city haunted, I would give it like a B. A B? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, I wish they gave us more like specific whys. Yeah. And that's why I would say it's like a C. Okay, that's a C. We're, I feel like we're actually being nice giving this a C. Wow. Number two, Virginia City. We went here and we can definitely claim that this is haunted. It became popular during the silver rush called the Comstock Low Washoe mm. Club. It only had 25,000 residents at its peak, but now it's only down to 900. However, and we can definitely tell that this is true, all the locals said each and every single building is haunted in that city. The Sci-Fi Channel has named Virginia City one of the top three haunted places. Top three? Every locale has its own collection. That's Washoe right there, I think. Yeah! Oh, yes! That yeah. one's terrifying. Don't go there. Okay, guys, here's a personal ghost story that I had at the Mackey Mansion in Virginia City, Nevada. There's a long list of people who have died in this mansion, which is what makes it so haunted. I hate mansions. Those are always the most scary. Yeah. Actual people's homes. Seeing a shadow of a man peeking in through that doorway. The tour guide then told us that the past caretaker actually shot himself right in that door. Oh, man. His phone was acting weird and he caught this and then his phone died from 70%. Yeah, this place is pretty haunted. What is it? You were standing in front of it, Nicole. <laughs> Get out of the way. I would assume that that was a little ghost to you, an orb thing, but just want to say this one gave so much more context than just like, hey, I'm Savannah Georgia, I'm fucking haunted. Like at least this had three buildings. It had three specific ones saying all the buildings were haunted, but we know from personal experience that this can get demonic. Well, how many times have we actually been scratched? Maybe three, and one of them was this. Turn around. No. no turn no, around, no, no, turn no. around. Wait, 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 wait. The, oh my Holy god. Holy fuck. So that's a big deal, especially because it was like a guest. I would say this is S tier solely based off the fact that we did a video there and Ghost Adventure started their careers in the city. All right, I think this one's an S tier. Plus, it sounds like there's a lot of these buildings that we haven't been to yet. We might have to go back. Virginia City S tier. Virgin City will be there. Number three, St. Augustine, Augustine, Florida. It's the oldest continuously inhabited city in the United States. We're just there. So we know all about St. Augustine. Um, in the St. Augustine Lighthouse. Woo! was the first permanent aid to navigation in the U.S. built in 1586. We were just there. If you haven't seen that video, what the fuck? These are the city gates at St. Augustine, Florida, said to be haunted by the ghost of a little girl named Elizabeth. She died in 1821 of yellow fever. If you had a family member that died from this disease, then they would come and burn your whole house down. So it's what? Why? Did you say the ghost burn the house the, down? The ghost would come and burn your house down. Wait, th okay, that alone, what? I've never heard of that before. Tourists also take the bravest visitors to the lighthouse keeper's house. Ooh. Oh, oh my there. god, yeah, you locked me in a god dang basement. So we're on our ghost tour and my friend Gabby took this picture and she goes, oh my god, like look at that orb right there. And I was like, that's a light. Um, which I just think is a light. And I was a like, light. do you see this man who is see-through dressed in colonial clothing? Huh? Here it is, Zoom. Oh! oh, wait, that's good. That's 
just might be the best picture I've ever seen. <laughs> That's actually phenomenal. That's perfect. And the bush behind If him. that is not a fake photo, I think that's got to be the best photo we've ever seen. That's insane. That's I'm going to go with A. And I guess we're not going by, like, how scary the demons are. They're both very active. But it's still, I still think Washer might be a little bit more. Gettysburg! Dude, everybody tells us to go to Gettysburg because this is like a massive battleground area and everyone just says the entire city feels like dark. Dude, I think we were even talking about Gettysburg on Joe Rogan. It was just like... Were we? Like battlefields just being like, after to suck the energy out of you. This had the most casualties of any Civil War battle. Saunders claims the house is plagued with a non-human entity. Are we allowed in this place? No, we're not allowed to Why? go back here. There's a cross on the door. This symbol was actually put on this door to keep whatever dark back there. It's like a witch marking? <laughs> Black figure is what people believe to be the spirit of Mrs. Dobbins. And if you look closely, you can see that it almost looks like she's wearing a black dress with a pointy black hat. I can kind of see that, but not as clear as the St. Augustine picture. Yeah. I mean, okay, so I would kind of compare this one to Georgia, though. So every place is haunted because people died here. Unlike Savannah, this one was the bloodiest battle ever. So I would say if they had to compare the two, this is probably has more casualties. So maybe a C. If we move this to see, I'm moving Savannah down to fucking B. All right, then give it a B. Portland, Oregon. I've actually never heard that Portland was a haunted city. Me neither. Originally a settlement from the 1830s, so one of the older U.S. cities. And there's a lot of ghosts in this place, no way. Uh, including two that are. Named. That one was so crazy. <laughs> so this editing is insane. It's not anything being scary. <laughs> yeah, nothing's terrifying. The tunnels are over 150 years old. Oh wait, I have heard of the Shanghai tunnels. Way back in the day, when most goods were still shipped. Sailors would often skip out on their captains because they were afraid of a long life at sea. We're so ditching. Yeah. They would kidnap well-bodied men to either face starvation or take $50 oh. to sail with them. But when men became aware of what was happening, they would frequent the bars less and less. So captains turned to kidnapping women. So you can only imagine how many people died in these tunnels. Yeah. That's what it is? Shanghai yeah. tunnels? That's I feel like, sick. I feel like that's sick, but we're talking about Portland as an entire city, and that's not hard. This might be a D or an F in my opinion. I do think we should go to Shanghai though. Yeah, let's the do tunnels. the Shanghai tunnels, but let's leave out Oregon. All right, Oregon's an F. If you guys want to see us go to Shanghai tunnels, 75,000 likes. I just think that's crazy because unlike catacombs that we've been to in the past, this was for mass like kidnapping. So Not weird. even like prisoners of like war or like prisoners that just decry or anything. Mm -hmm. It's just random people from the street being kidnapped. San Antonio. Oh, the home of the Alamo. Yes. The like super super famous Spanish fort. Uh, oh, this is also a pivotal location of the Texas Revolution against Mexico So that means a lot of people fought and a lot of people died Visitors and employees of the Alamo have reported apparitions of long dead soldiers It's like the middle of the city too. Dude, imagine if we could get into the Alamo. That would be sick. That would be huge Alamo people, Alamo connects. Hey, if your dad owns the Alamo, hit him up. Hit him up. The Manger Hotel is known as the most haunted hotel in Texas. She's most famously known for entering into your rooms at night <gasps> as you are sleeping. Yo! Another ghost Let's was a wealthy businessman, <laughs> Richard King. If you're actually brave enough to sleep at night care you lock in the hotel, you can actually sleep in one of the most haunted suites in King Texas. King Ranch! Those brave Write guests sleep in the actual bed where Mr. King died. Oh. What? I would love to go there. That one was better than fucking Gettysburg. That's like an A to me. I think that's like an A. Yeah, yeah. we need to go to San Antonio again. Salem. Salem, Massachusetts, the home of the witch trials. If you guys don't know what those are, it's where a lot of young girls were actually tried and hanged as witches in a mass hysteria in 1692. That's old. 1692, there were 19 innocent men and women who were executed for witchcraft. They were oh, fucked. God. Horrible witch dungeon. And then there were hangs publicly. So that's Damn, they're probably young. Innocent women. In the future, it's a really good idea to pay close attention to what your cameras might do. Sometimes you'll find your full batteries go down to nothing. Oh, Whoa, dude! God. Is he wearing a freaking voodoo head on his head? No, look at his goddamn mustache, dude. That's a hero looking at him. I was mustache. looking at the goddamn, I don't know what that is, a shrunken head? Oh, He's got weird. the perfect cut beard, nice little chubby cheeks with the nice little mustache. Perfect fit, great hat. Love this guy's fit. Salem? has literally been on our list because everyone says it's like one of the most haunted places. It is, we have to go. I would say that's even S tier. Let's do it. All Salem, right. S tier. 
Moving on. New Orleans. Dude, Another New spot Orleans. we've been. New Orleans is haunted. So this so was founded by French settlers in 1718. It's known for its Creole culture. Does yeah, like that, the, right? the voodoo style stuff. We had been shaped by fire, disease, water. Water. Was that bad? Hurricane Katrina. Oh. It's like I'm imagining her on fire, I'm imagining her having disease, and it's like, ah, oh, I'm taking a shower, I'm taking water. Yeah. No, horrible <laughs> tropical storms. Oh. When I'm in New Orleans, I feel both blessed and cursed. In two <laughs> Yo, if Nick says it's freaking haunted, it's haunted. 2007, he decided to put down some roots there. But in true Nicolas Cage fashion, he didn't just buy any house. He bought one of the most notorious houses in New Orleans, La Lorie Mansion. He bought La Lurie Mansion? No way! Nick Cage bought La Lurie? What the heck? This mansion is so famous and has such a great story. We've been trying to get in it for like three years. So long. Anybody out there that knows Nicolas Cage, have <laughs> him ring us. Guys, and we'll have him collab. We know one person out there has Nick's number. Yeah, someone out there has <laughs> the got to know Nick Cage. New Orleans S tier, especially if we get Nick Cage. Then it's a, just a terrifying video in general. Charleston, South Carolina. Mr. Beast. Wait, he's North Carolina. Yeah. This was an important trade center during the Revolutionary War and the Civil War. Lots of battle sites, plantations, old churches, and more that housed the paranormal. Okay, okay. The Old City Jail is supposed to be haunted by more than 13,000 spirits. Wait, what? What the Wait. fuck? Is that more than we've ever heard of? Yeah, and also, how do you count that? Like, who's sitting That's there counting 13,000? Thousand different spirits, unless they're just saying 13,000 people died. Oh, yeah. I don't know. When I would do reports at night and I could hear the chairs at the kitchen table be pulled out. Oh, oh that would. Oh. Yeah. oh, God. A matter of seconds, and I would normally get up from the my chair at the desk and go look around and see if anyone was downstairs and there would never be anyone downstairs. What I would shit? not work there anymore, Probably I don't think. Anything. That sounded like generally, yeah, definitely haunted, but nothing stuck out to me as like, oh my god, that was actually crazy. This is definitely a fucking C. There's All no right. way this beats. Give it, give it a C then. It might be a C. God dang it! Last one, San, San Francisco. Francisco! It does not even matter. We're never going back to San Francisco ever. San Francisco Why? sucks Why? ass. We got robbed there and everyone gets robbed there. San Francisco sucks. Never go to San Francisco. I or hate. at least just do not put your things no, in the car. No, just don't even go to San Francisco <laughs> and like literally boycott San Francisco. He hates San I Francisco. hate San Francisco. A columbarium located in San Francisco's Richmond district. What's a columbarium? Yeah, I have no idea what that is actually. A columbarium is a place used for storing the ashes of the dead. That what? is haunted right there. Holy you shit. literally asked someone to look it up and she told you. I've never heard of that before. The ashes of the dead. And previously disturbed here, as mm. well as those still okay. attached to the monument's what various are all those? artifacts and ah, displays. I feel like I would not want to walk to the through one of those. Oh, wait, those were little doors where you keep each person's ashes? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow, that was it. Uh, yeah, let's just say fuck San Francisco. Get a, <laughs> just a straight F no matter what. The straight Even F. Even if it was cool, like. Well, okay. I mean, we did go to Queen Anne there. Queen Anne was cool. Oh, it doesn't deserve the F. Sure, Definitely. should we give it a D? Nothing's a D. Yeah. All right, all right. Let's give San Francisco the D. San and Francisco call it a got day. the D because it's already fucked us, if you know what I'm saying. You know what? Just get this to 75,000 likes and we'll do everything. Especially if you know Nick Cage. We'll see you next time. <laughs>